Hello, 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 and welcome to be our reviews. Today we'll be reviewing something a bit different. The Museum Quality Bowen Designs Thanos Statue. So, yeah, I've never actually reviewed a proper statue before. Um, I have... Well, this is the only actual statue I have. I've got some busts. But, uh, for the most part, statues are really expensive, and I don't like to buy them. But, uh... Yeah, Thanos is one of my favorite characters because he likes to kill things. And I like to watch people kill things, so therefore kill things. I mean Thanos. So, yeah, obviously being a statue, he looks really, really nice. Especially from Bone Designs. Um, really, really awesome looking. Obviously we're going to zoom in on the various details and really nice paint and everything like that. He actually comes with a cosmic cube, which is cool. And uh, if you want to, it actually fits really nicely with the Marvel Select Thanos. So, yeah. Comes a nice base. These are numbered. Uh, looks to be 1100. So, pretty neat there. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on those details and everything like that, shall we? Alright, so here we have Thanos. As you can see, he is, uh, he's very Thanos-like. He's got this really nice shiny gold paint on all of his gold parts. Look up here at the head. We'll zoom in a bit closer on the face and everything in a bit. Uh, and then he's got this darker blue color on the rest of his costume. And uh, some really nice shading and everything inside of there. Uh, on this side he's got a fist for a hand. And on this side he has an open hand that holds the cosmic cube that he comes with. That we'll look at in a minute. Uh, it just kind of sits in there. There's no pegs or anything. It just sits there. But it stays there nicely. And unless you like turn him upside down or anything, it's not going to fall out. Um, he's got that weird sort of... Uh, crenellation sort of thing right here on his crotch that I'm touching. Look at me touching it. Anyway, let's go up or down or whatever. Legs, some more paint shading and some really nice shiny boots. And he has his uh, base, which we'll zoom in on in a sec. Looking at his back to get some maximum appreciation for what he looks like. Uh, pretty standard looking, you know. Blue, gold, all that sorts of things. Uh, let's turn him around and zoom in on his face and head real quick. Alright, here is Thanos' head. You can see his crenellated chin there. Teeth and sort of a smile. Uh, his eyes are kind of sculpted outward from their sockets. Uh, and they're white. Uh, he's got his little crown sort of bit here. And it's just a really nice detailing of Thanos' face. Uh, pretty much spot on to what uh, Thanos should look like. Alright, let's move on and look at the base really quickly. And uh, look at the Cosmic Cube. All right, here you can see the base. It's got lots of sort of weird, techy-looking runes scrawled into it. And it's got this sort of glittery sheen to it. Uh, it's pretty much black apart from that. It's got two squares here for where his feet sit at. And one peg hole-like thing there. Uh, Thanos has like a big metal rod on the bottom of his foot. And it just slots right in there. And he stands on it, and it'll hold him there. But you're probably going to want to pick him up with the base in your hand while you're picking him up, because it might fall off. On the back it is solid black. Uh, Thanos Museum Quality Statue lists the numbering. There are 1,100. This happens to be 657 out of those. And some little licensing information and stuff like that. Also has some little uh, rubbery things, just to keep it from scratching your desk up, I suppose. And uh, that's pretty much it for the base. Let's look at the Cosmic Cube really quick. If you can see it, this is the Cosmic Cube. It is a clear, uh, I assume it's like acrylic cube. Uh, there is no detailing whatsoever. It is a clear acrylic cube. I think it's acrylic, just kind of guessing. No detail work to look at. It is just a cube. It seems a bit small for the statue, uh, but it works really nicely for the Marvel Select thing. Uh, it just seems like whenever I see the Cosmic Cube, it's bigger than this compared to people. So, yeah, that's Cosmic Cube. You can see here he holds it like that. All right, the only other thing to look at here is the box. And uh, it's a statue, so you're obviously not going to display it in the box. But uh, this is the box. It obviously has a really big picture of Thanos on the side. Uh, Marvel Universe painted statue. On the back, it has the exact same thing. On the side, it says Thanos painted statue digitally sculpted by Kuram Alabi. I hope I pronounced that right. Standing in at 14 inches, strictly limited, ready to display. This is the museum version. I don't really know what that means, as I'm not privy to the statue community. But uh, it says museum version right there. Uh, big picture of Thanos. Uh, and uh, just an adults-only sort of thing right there. 
uh, Bowen Designs logo. Uh, it's the same thing on the side. So, yeah, it's just a big box that you would keep a statue in. Not really anything to say. Obviously, it's a nice looking box, but it's just a box, you know. So, yeah, Thanos. All right, that about wraps it up for Thanos. Until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe and all those sorts of things if you enjoyed my video. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content, and VR Reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.